It's a big opportunity. I mean, it's not uh, often you um, you know you play a quarterfinal in Europe and uh, you have the chance to reach the semifinals. It's not uh, for many players, so it's um, you know we we have to um, work hard and 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 get the performances in uh, tomorrow, but also next week to uh, to overcome Braga because. Uh, you know, I think uh, people uh, were saying it's the the best draw we could have uh, a couple of weeks ago. But uh, you know, I think it's it's a very good team, very strong. They won against Benfica in the last weekend, so uh, it's a team is, who was uh, difficult to overcome. So we have a uh, we have a big challenge uh, ahead of us. But uh, you know, we relished the the chance to go into the semi finals. So we. Uh, you know, we have to go out and uh, and perform well to uh, to get into the semi-finals after uh, next week. Giovanni, we heard the news yesterday regarding Alfredo Morelos. How big a blow is that, and what implications does it have on the rest of the season? Uh, well, it's, uh, of course, it's a, it's a big blow because he's uh, you know he's our striker. We cannot uh, we don't have him anymore for this season. So um, yeah. You know, it's um, disappointed uh, we we are, but uh, you know we, we know what's the what the problem is. How long he's out, and uh, we have to move on, and that's the only thing we uh, we have to do now. No one leads a line quite like Alfredo. Are we likely to see a possible change in, in shape in terms of uh, from here on in till the end of the season? Um, well, you know, we prepare this game, um, you know, uh, how we prepare every game to see the opponent, their strengths, their weaknesses, and then, you know, see which players we, we, we can use. And obviously we don't have uh, Morales, we don't have Haji, uh, we don't have Lowry, uh, he's also uh, not available. So uh, we just, you know, pick a, uh, pick a game plan and uh, try to execute it as good as possible. Morelos has obviously been very influential for the last few years for Rangers, especially in, in big games, with so many big games coming up. Do you feel you've got the personnel available to you to, to cope without them? Well, I believe so. I mean, uh, I, th I think we, we have. You know, it's, uh, of course, as I said before, we're disappointed about the loss of Morelos, but, you know, out of the five questions, four questions is included Morelos. So that means, you know, he's a very important player, but the reality is he's not there and we have to prepare this game without him and uh, that's what we've done uh, the last days and that's uh, what we are focusing on for tomorrow as well. Full time on, on uh, Sunday you ask your players you know, not to give up and keep fighting. I just wonder how the reaction to that has been from the players in the training ground um, since the game and, and, and up into this match coming up against Brad. Well, I mean, first, of course, there's this disappointment. That's um, that's obviously, and uh, you have to switch immediately to focus on the game uh, that's ahead, and that's Praga, and that's um, that's what the player has done, that what we all have done, and uh, you know, it's uh, it's the only thing we uh, we can do and we have to do. So, um, yeah, you know, the game is uh, is uh, has passed now, and uh, we're looking ahead to the game to uh, against Braga. Uh, with the Scottish Cup and the Europa League, realistically now are probably best option for success this season. Will that change how you use your players and pick them? And will it potentially make a few more opportunities in the league, perhaps, for some of the younger players that are trying to break through and establish themselves? No, no. We just go go out every game and try to win it with the best possible and strongest team we have. You know, it's uh, we still in all competition, as you said. Of course, the league is, is going to be uh, more difficult now, but you know we have to keep going. So there's no chance I will uh, play with a weakened team on, on Sunday. But uh, the focus now is on Braga. And then after that, we switch back to St. Mirren. Have you kind of stressed to the players what, what an incredible opportunity this is for them? Because it's, it's rare for a Scottish team to go this far into the European competitions. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's, um, you know, we were, I think the last years the team performed really well uh, in Europe, also with uh, uh, with Steven, you know, reaching, um, uh, you know, to be involved in Europe after after the winter break, which is, you know, also very good. Now we are one stage further and uh, we try to get into the semi-finals and uh, so it's um, not very often we are, uh, as a Scottish team, to reach the semi-final in Europe. So uh, 
that means uh, you know we are performing well in Europe and uh, that's what we want to uh, continue and to uh, overcome Braga as well which is going to be really difficult but you know to reach the semi-final it's uh, you know there's all to play for and uh, we, we go out tomorrow and next week to to win this tie. This, this tie could be worth several million pounds in terms of prize money and, and gate money how important could that be to you come the summer in terms of the, the work that you want to do on this squad? Well, it's going to, you know, it's, you know, when you win um, against Braga and you overcome the tie, there are so many positives out of the, uh, out of the, of the win. Of course, you know, the, 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 the semi-final spot, you know, also finance, financial is, is good for the club, which will eventually help all of us. So, uh, but in the end, you know, for me and for the place to focus on is, is our, uh, is our, uh, you know our, our matches and, and 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 the two games against Braga and and try to uh, to win uh, to win the tie. I um, spoke a lot after the, the last round against Red Star Belgrade about about the character of the players and the way they came through that test in Belgrade. Is that a quality we're obviously going to need to see again in terms of them being able to to park what happened in Sunday to to move on from it and, and to deal with this challenge now. Yeah, because it's you know it's it's Europe. It's very difficult, as we've seen against uh, well, all the all the games uh, we've played so far. Also against Dortmund and Red Star, you know you have to be uh, have to be there in in every department uh, you need on the pitch. Your you know tactical awareness, your physical awareness, you know your way of playing, attacking, defending. It's you you have to have the complete. Uh, you have to be complete on on on, on Thursday to. Uh, to get a good result, so uh, we've managed to do that so far, and now it's just uh, you know the opportunity to do, to do it again and to uh, to win against a strong opponent. How much pressure do you feel under to deliver at least one trophy this season? And was that something that was discussed as a requirement with the board when you, you took over in November? Well, I mean, they don't have to uh, explain the pressure in, in being manager of Rangers. You know, I've been here as a player. I, um, I had the pressure when uh, I was manager at Feyenoord. So the pressure is always there. And, uh, you know, of course you need to perform. Uh, I want to perform well with, 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 my, with my team. The players want to perform well and that's what we are trying to do and, and, and work hard for. And then. You know, of course, in the end, uh, you 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 want to have silverware. I mean, that's why you work hard all season, and uh, that's what we are gonna do until the end of uh, of the season. In your analysis to Braga team, which were the the team features and the, and the players that uh, stand out the most for you? Well, I mean, it's um, I don't think uh, Braga is a, is a team uh, who you can pick like one player. I mean, it's you know we we, we much we watched a lot of uh, the matches, of, of course, also the matches uh, in Europe, but also the the game against Benfica. Uh, you know, it's it's you know for me it's uh, it's a strong opponent. You know, Portuguese teams uh, are always strong. So it's difficult to overcome them. So I think their team uh, uh, team spirit is very good. They're very good in uh, in attacking, very quick with quick wingers. You know, in transition moments they can punish you really, really quick. And uh, defensively, we know uh, Portuguese teams defensively are also well, well, really good organized, and they don't give a lot of chances away. So. You know, for them to overcome uh, Monaco and Sharif in the last rounds is, um, you know, is a very good performance. And uh, you know, we need to do, um, we, need, we need to be at our best to uh, to overcome Braga. Braga. What do you think about Braga Rangers two years ago and now? Do you believe uh, the teams are better? Uh, there are similarities compared to two seasons ago between Braga and Rangers. Well, I know. I of course I know the um, uh, Rangers played Braga uh, a couple of years ago. So it's you know different uh, different teams. Uh, you know I cannot compare those games. Um, and I think although Braga has uh, you know inexperienced players, they perform really well. It's not about experience. It's about your performances. So. Uh, you know, you don't win against Monaco and Sheriff with an inexperienced team. Uh, you, you win against them with a well-organized team, a strong team, a good collective. And I think Braga has, has all of that.